cause I'm rough, just came to have fun. Don't be afraid of that act like foes, cause I'm rough. Face the one who knows about things that makes you get weary. Don't hear me, just hear me out, cause I got the clout. Shout. Time to turn the party out. Alexa, pause music. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome to another video. In this video we are going to finally, finally be using the Dose of Colors X Mickey collection. This collection came out I believe about two or three weeks ago. It has been quite a, quite a while. I've had this collection for quite some time. I think it came out like two weeks ago because last week was the James Charles series and then the week before that is when I received it. So yeah, two weeks ago and what this collection consists of is three of their um, lip lipsticks. They're not their lipsticks, they're like their, uh, I don't know exactly what they're called. They're like, they're satin lip creams or something like that. You get three glosses and an eyeshadow palette and that is the entire collection. And when I first saw this collection and when they started teasing it, I was like, oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Like, I am a sucker for nude lips. Y'all know this. Y'all know this, y'all know this. Like, I will buy 10 million nudes and be completely okay with it. And that is pretty much what this con the, this collection consists of. So. <clears throat> First you get the eyeshadow palette, which the eyeshadow palette has six eyeshadows and one highlighter. And the six eyeshadows consist of a gold, a kind of like warm transition shade, a blue kind of gunmetal kind of color, a taupey color, a reddish, like reddish kind of brick color, and then a deep like navy, maybe purple color, and then a light kind of frosty champagne highlights. And it also does have a mirror that comes with it as well. So that is the Mickey collection. And then you get the three lip glosses, which I love Dose of Colors lip glosses. Absolutely love them. The first one is a kind of like bronzy, like a sheer bronzy gloss. Kind of reminds me of Over the Top from the Desi Katie collection. Seems like Dose of Colors likes to come out with their, um, their glosses that are clear, but has a little bit of shimmer, a little bit of sparkle. So you can just use them just kind of like over your lips to prepare for makeup or just to wear on a no makeup makeup type of look. Love that concept love it so much that that is this one and then the next one is a little bit more of a um just like a brownie kind of nude color and then lastly there is a grayish kind of taupey um kind of like sepia lip gloss it's really pretty i love all three of these colors i am like i was dying for them i'm like i hope i get that package because i am i i need that i need that like i was gonna buy it myself because i needed these glosses and then you get the three lip creams, lip sticks, whatever, that I don't know what they call them. Um, you get a brownie kind of nude color, then a deep, 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 deep chocolate like brown color. It, it's like almost, it's like brown, but it has berry undertones, so it kind of looks a little maroon as well. And then just a true peachy kind of brown nude as well. And all of these do come with the signature um, Mickey logo on the tops of them. All of these have their same Dose of Colors packaging, but the tops of them come with the Mickey gold ears. And then these come in matte black with the Mickey ears as well. And on the eyeshadow palette, it comes with Mickey on the eyeshadow palette. So I'm super excited to use this. Like I honestly just want to put this gloss moi all over because it's just so pretty. Yes. Oh yeah, like this is definitely a gloss that I would just buy just because it's clear, but it has a little bit of a a little bit of a tint to it, but it's not like a tint I wouldn't say. It just has like some bronze reflex and it's so pretty up close. Oh yeah, it's really pretty up close, but it's definitely something I would just have just to like keep in my purse type of thing. I keep dropping everything. So that way when I need like a little bit of gloss and I wanna be popping, I can just throw this on my lips. But so excited, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my lid, set it down with powder, and then we're gonna get started on the eyeshadow. Okay you guys, so I think I'm gonna start with this shade M is for Mischief, 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 Mischief. <laughs> the red shade, um, I'm kinda gonna do the red, the blue, and then the uh, blue all over the lid type of look. Nothing like too spectacular, like too crazy. And I'm gonna use a JH32 brush. And I do really love uh, Dose of Colors eyeshadows, like so pigmented. I never have like an issue with them. And this is one 
dip into the brush I didn't tap off any excess so you can see like right off the bat like you get a lot of pigmentation a lot of um yeah pigment what I like about this palette, or with, uh, not this palette, this collection, is that it's like a collector's item, and I've always thought that collector's items were cool. Never really was able to buy them just because I didn't have the money, you know, like when MAC would come out with their collector's items, things like that. I never really had the money to uh, just be like, oh, let me go ahead and buy that. But now that I receive it in PR, I think it's like really cool to have some of the collector's items in, in my collection you know just in case it never comes back and I have to sell it or something or you know to pass it down to a kid or you know whatever it may be I think that's really cool so just apply this up at the top and of course I always bring my shadow and it's not necessary I just like to do that and then whatever is left I'm just kind of buffing it upwards so that way like the bulk of the color is right here in the socket and then it lightly dif lightly diffuses upward so we're gonna do it like the layout. So now I'm gonna take a little bit more of a tapered um, JH brush. This is a JH31, just a little bit more tapered. And I'm gonna take Aw Shucks, which is the like navy blue. I think it's more of like a navy blue than it is purple. And this is gonna go into my outer V. And I absolutely, I absolutely love like navy blue eyeshadows. I don't feel like enough brands make navy blue eyeshadows, but I feel like it's definitely necessary. And I'm really glad that I have one in here now because um, the one that I was using was my ABH one and that one from the artist palette like wasn't like their best quality, but it was good, like it, it did the job. But this one is gonna come in handy for my wedding, I'm sure. Probably do like a navy blue smoky eye for like my bridal party or I don't know or something like that you know so this is gonna go all the way in as well and I'm saturating this color into the socket and then I'll start to lightly blend it up but I'm not gonna blend it up far enough to where it covers most, most of the red I want that red to still kind of peek through so I'm just gonna lightly just do some circular buffing motions I'm lightening up the pressure of my brush as well so it's not like I'm like you know pressing really hard and as you can see there's not a ton of color on this brush so I'm just pretty much moving around the little that's on the brush and the and what's in the crease and then now I'm just gonna darken up this socket a little bit because I'm not going to cut out the socket because I know you guys are tired of seeing cut crease looks or half cut crease looks so I'm just gonna do it just like a regular eyeshadow look just you know normal and just continue to buff these two shades together so now I'm going to take a little bit of MS for mischief and just go over the top and that's gonna be that. Ugh, you guys, I need to get a Biore strip so bad. My blackheads are so disgusting on my nose right now. Like, it's just like sick, like sick. So what I'm gonna do for the eyeshadow is take a little bit of the NYX glitter primer, just the teentiest, sweetiest little bit. This is just gonna grasp onto that um, shimmery shadow because the eyeshadow base or the primer that I use, the concealer rather, is um, set down and it's also been covered up by some of the uh, blue eyeshadow so I'm just gonna put this so the eyeshadow has something to stick to and I'm gonna go in with hooray right up top and pop that all over the lid yes that glitter primer really does help with making the eyeshadow really pop and really like stick And I am bringing this up just right into where the crease is and then just going to blend that out with some of the blue. And I'm going to just fade this out here. Going to go out as far as I'd like, which is about to right where I am right now, just with a tiny bit of out in the outer V. 
This is a pretty, pretty, pretty color. I have no additional product. I'm just going over, just making sure it's all blended out. And one thing that I was thinking about doing is doing like a red liner. I thought that would have been cool, but I think I'm going to keep it just like this, just simple, just elegant, just smoky. I'm just going to not do too much. Um, one thing that I would rather do is wear like a red lipstick with this look because of the red in the crease, but obviously none of the colors are red. Um, so I think I'm just going to do like a, like a nude gloss, just something like this, something really simple really easy. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye and then do my face and then I will come back. Uh, I don't know what lashes I'm going to pop on. Just probably some simple wispy ones. I'm not sure. I'll let you know the name once I come back, but I will be right back. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to do the lower lash line and I'm pretty, pretty much going to repeat the same steps as I did up top. Um, I'm first going to apply the blue though, so I'm going to apply the shade Aw Shucks first with the same brush because it has a nice pointed edge and just use that on the lower lash line and connect it out into the outer edge so it's just kind of connected like so and then just bring that in. Not sure if I have a navy blue liner, but if I do I definitely want to pop that in. And if you'd like this to be a little bit more neat and a little less like blown out, then you can of course use like a pencil brush or a smudge brush or something like that. But lately I've been really loving my lower lash line to be like really blown out and really extra. So it's all a personal preference in my opinion, how you want your lower lash line to be. Yeah. Because I think that this is going to look good once I have my lashes on and everything like that. But it is definitely uh, extra, y'all. And then I'm going to take a little bit of MS for Mischief. And just blow that out. Now this is really low onto the lower lash line. It's not something you're comfortable with. Don't do it. And the lashes I'm gonna apply are the Icon Lashes in the style High T. They look like these. They're just pretty long and like fluffy, like all the way around. Well, I wouldn't say fluffy, I would say like wispy. And I'm gonna pop those on really quick, put on some lower lash line mascara and some black eyeliner, I guess, I guess. Okay, so last thing for the eyes is this Dose of Colors Block Party Shadow in the shade Slinky. I'm just going to pop this into the inner corner with this E21 smudge brush just for a nice pop of shimmer. And I could have put like that gold color, but I felt like the silver would have went with this color a lot better. So I'm just going to pop this in the inner corner just to brighten it up a little bit. Okay, and the last thing I want to try is the Beyond Classic Highlighter. I'm just going to put a little bit over the top of what I already have on. I already have on um, Chasing the Sun from the Desi Katie collection. And I'm just going to use this uh, Morphe M510 brush and just see how. Okay, so yeah, like I thought, it's really frosty. Um... And I think it's just going to be nice for just like the very, very, very highest point of like the cheekbones. Um, but other than that, let me swatch it for you guys. It's pretty light and I think that it would look a lot better for um, more like medium to light skin tones. It's not really a uh, black girl friendly, which uh, I don't think any of us expected it to be. But if it's layered over the top of like a little darker highlighter, then I think it'll be fine. But um, definitely not something I would wear by itself. It's just a little too frosty. Okay, so for the last step is lips, and I'm going to go in with my clean color lip liner. Maybe I'll say in what color. Let's all say it at once. 
chestnut. <laughs> and I'm just gonna line my lip. And I think I'm gonna go in. Hmm. This is the shade 1928. It's pretty nude. Hmm. Ooh, that would be pretty. That would be really pretty. Should I go in with this color? Hmm. I don't know. This is infinite. I'm kind of feeling it. Let's see. This is forever. Hmm, let's see how infinite looks. So my lip liner is fuck the fuck up. Let's go ahead and fix that. Okay, so this shade, Infinite, actually gives this look the right amount of vamp without it being over the top. And I actually really like it. So I think I'm gonna like just leave it be and not do a regular nude lip like I uh, intended. <laughs> All right, you guys, so that is it for this here look. Let me know what you guys think down below. Um, I'm definitely loving the, the dramatic with the dramatic. I didn't think that I would like it as much, but I'm actually liking it. It kind of pulls in with the reddish kind of like transition shade that we use up there that kind of looks a little more brown now that it's mixed with the blue. I think that it looked really good, so yeah. I, I like this collection. I am the most excited about the lipstick if I had to pick like, or not the lipstick, but the lips. Hi, B. Hi. You're leaving already? <laughs> You're leaving already? I am. Already, baby? You just got here. Yeah, I'm gonna go back a little bit early and do my job. You gotta work anyway, so I'm just sitting all lonely. I can sit lonely at I was work. almost done. I'd only have five minutes. Bye, boo boo. <laughs> For sure you don't want no lips, do you? Thank you. <laughs> I wish I could give some shake. Yeah. Yeah, maybe later. <laughs> Definitely later. Okay, love you. Love you too. Bye. So if I had to pick like one or two things out of this entire collection, I would definitely pick up this gloss. I'm just a sucker for clear glosses with like gold or bronze in this instance. Reflect, I just absolutely love them. Great to have in the purse. I took over the top with me to Hawaii and that's like the only thing, literally, like the only gloss or lipstick that I wore the entire time. So this is definitely a necessity. And then I really like the Infinite lipstick. I, I really like this color. It's it's like a brown, but it's like a berry. Like it's such a different color. I don't really know how to classify this color. It is super pretty. And as you can see, it gives you a little bit of shine, a lot of moisture. It's not a matte, uh, especially for me with my crusty lips right now. My lips are just so crusty. I need a lip scrub so bad. <laughs> But uh, it, it's just it's just a really pretty color and it's not drying on the lips, which a lot of liquid lipsticks or lipsticks can be, especially if they're matte. I also really enjoy these two gloss colors. Uh, this one is more of like a like a grayish taupey nude. I really like this color, and this one is just more of so of a true nude kind of colors. Honestly, you guys. I would buy all of the lip products if I could, you know, if I were to recommend them. They're just all so pretty and so different in their own way. You get two different types of nudes as well as a darker brown and the gloss is so pretty. And unfortunately, I put up this video after the Black Friday sale. The Black Friday sale on Cyber Monday, they had all of their products 40% off. So I'm not sure what they have going on right now if they're extending the sale. But the next time Dose of Colors has a sale, I would definitely recommend pick up these lip products because... Dose of Colors has some bomb lip products. If they don't have anything else, the Look of Lipstick formula is amazing. I love their gloss formula, especially their clear glosses. Love those. And these, I don't know what they're called. They're like lipstick cream. Creams? Lip creams? 
I think they're lip creams. I think these are lip creams. Those are also pretty, um, pretty darn amazing as well. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.